What is up everybody and welcome to the next episode in getting our launch box rocket launcher uh, set up to the max. This is episode 5 and we are going to be looking at setting up the Nintendo Switch through using Yuzu. Now to get started what we need to do is in the description below there is a link. Click on that link it will take you to my mega website where you will download this zip file here. Once you extract it you will end up with these two folders here. Now before we actually get started I just want to go through a few things. Uh, to get this working with Rocket Launcher, there is a custom made module. Now this module is designed specifically for this version. This is the Canary version, the latest uh, that the, uh, is to download um, as of this uh, video. And it's uh, specifically designed uh, to work with that uh, version. So if you use a different version or update, it may break the module. Um, I will look at showing you how to um, update it, uh, Yuzu and update the module uh, in another video uh, but for now uh, this is what we're going to do and how we're going to get it working so what we need to do uh, is we need to go to our install directory and we need to get the emulators and rocket launcher we're going to copy and we're going to paste them in so, so I've already done that so you can see it's in there um, one thing that we you will you will need to do if I can get my words out you will need to do is to locate the system files that you needs to uh, run there's two ways of doing that one you can dump them from your switch or two you can find them on the internet so if you design uh, Google I don't know something like Yuzu um, system files um, you will then end up somewhere close to them and this is basically what the system files is in particular the NAND um, and basically uh, you need to put these into your Yuzu folder within the roaming app data username so that's where mine is um, you can actually set this uh, in Yuzu to be somewhere else but I've just kept it there because I use multiple builds of Yuzu and I like them uh, all to use the same folder so that is why so once you've got that you'll have to locate them we can get cracking with setting up our Yuzu so we're going to go to our emulators folder in our install directory Yuzu uh, 170319 going to open it up okay what I have done is I've added a few games just into the directory the launch box games directory and they're in the XCI format which seems to be a popular format uh, for the switch so first off what you need to do once you've opened up Yuzu is go to select game directory okay I'm going to go to install launch box where well, I've just shown you those games Nintendo switch in the games folder there select that folder and there's the four games that I've got to try out okay next then what we're going to do is we're going to configure Yuzu itself so we'll go into emulation and then configure general uh, we want to make sure that confirm exit while emulation is running um, we want that as a uh, unticked and we want to enable CPU JIT it should be enabled uh, by default and make sure that NFC is disabled actually I don't know if that does anything um, then we want to go to graphics um, we want to be able to limit speed uh, percent to 100% so it doesn't go quick or um, like at 200 frames per second which I've seen some games do uh, use disk uh, cache uh, shader cache so we want that ticked use uh, accurate GPU emulation we're going to leave that unticked and this use asynchronous GPU emulation we're going to tick that because it gives a big performance boost in a lot of games then we're going to go to controls quite straightforward this um, I always have it in handheld mode for some reason um, and you can configure your controls here okay um, I'm using my PS4 pad uh, that thinks it's a 360 pad okay so that's usually pretty much configured to play these games um, obviously with Yuzu it is still quite new and some games won't play at all some will be very slow and some will be um, uh, graphical glitches etc and things like that so be prepared for that so now I've got that set up what I'm going to do is think about importing these games into our launch box so I'm going to go to our launch box I'm going to click the menu tools and import 
there we go ROM files click next add files so we're already in the games directory I want Nintendo switch and I want to add those four games okay click next I think Nintendo switch has been added here I think it's been here a while there we go so platform we're going to be using Nintendo switch click next the emulator is going to be rocket launcher which we set up in the first episode going to use the files in the current location leave that as default uh, I only want a bit of the art just to save a bit of time you can download more if you want if you've got emu movies you can obviously use your login details there um, I'm not sure how much switch stuff they have um, but again anything that's on emu movies can be found in other places on the uh, interwebs uh, click next uh, we're gonna leave that as default that will give us those four games what we're going to do is I'm going to import them and I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished okay as you can see that has imported those four games and I've got some nice artwork with it um, now what we need to do is basically set up our rocket launcher so we're going to go into our install directory rocket launcher rocket launcher UI and then open up the exe let it boot up Okay. Uh, then we're going to make sure that we're on global and we're just going to add this emulator so we're going to call it yuzu navigate to the path where the emulator is so that's in our install directories emulators yuzu 170319 there we go rom extensions for me is xci if you have a different format that yuzu can read that's fine put that in there and the module is going to be right at the bottom is that modified module that we've got uh, for yuzu okay we're going to save that then we're going to select nintendo switch we're going to make sure that we have yuzu saved as our um, default emulator rom paths we're going to go to launch box games nintendo switch okay so there we go added that uh, don't worry about this being red it's because it's modified uh, what we're going to do is take that there click on it and edit global module settings and just make sure full screen is set to true okay then we're going to go to games and then we're going to load up a game and see if it works oh just to let you know that there is no fade for uh the Nintendo Switch so what I've done is I've given you a default one made by Retro Humanoid uh, there will be a link to his website in the description below uh, please to have a look at that and support him he does absolutely amazing work can't pick him up enough so we've got that already and we're going to just click on cave story we'll see if that loads up fades kicked in will come there we go okay so it just takes a moment to shut it down there we go back in the game so that's all loading from uh, rocket launcher that's great um, what we need to do then is just check it loads from uh, our Nintendo uh, our launch box so cave story let's see if we can get that loaded from here Looks good to me. Okay. Um, one thing I would suggest doing is because it builds a shader cache or shader cache um, in Yuzu, is I'd run all the games outside of uh, Launchbox and Rocket Launcher first, just so the um, uh, the cache can be uh, it, it will load up quicker next time it can take a minute or two um, on some games like Mario for instance takes quite a while only the first time that you load it up in that emulator so that is that okay so another one done Nintendo switch 
just remember it is uh, it's still very buggy emulator it's not it's nowhere near perfect but it does play a lot of commercial games uh, reasonably well now um, I'm gonna leave it there I think that's that one done if you like this video please like and subscribe if you didn't then don't if you really really like this video you can donate to me there is a PayPal button at the top of my banner and there's also a PayPal me link in the description right at the bottom uh, if you wish to do so but until next time thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.